in this video I thought I'd do something a bit different, a bit of fun, uh, nothing technical. I thought I'd look at four cameras that I own and what would they be like to vlog with. There's a quite a huge price range difference going from about a £200 camera up to £1400 with the lens camera and a few in between. So we've got one mirrorless, one small compact camera and two action cameras as such. And I thought I'd just see what they're like to vlog up and down my yard just for fun. See what stabilization's like, see what the image quality is like and see which one would be the best uh, for going out vlogging. Now I don't normally do vlogging so it, it's not too important to me but I have purchased one of these for any situation where I'm out uh, testing something and I need to do behind the scenes shots or just a bit of vlogging so I thought I'd throw that in there. So let's go outside let's just do a quick walk up and down test and uh, see what we get. So here we are I've got uh, four different cameras for vlogging We've got a mirrorless, got compact, we've got two action cameras as such, we've got them on complete auto, everything's on auto and what you're hearing is the audio from the actual cameras mics themselves, but everything is on auto as if you took it straight out of the box. I'm just going to do a walk up the yard, back down the yard. The light here is really, yeah, very variable, crazy variable. Uh, we'll just walk up to the top. You can probably see my new studio being built, hopefully. And then we'll turn around, got the light straight in the face. So this is uh, what you'd be experiencing in these lighting conditions. So this is the cameras all on auto. We've got one, two, three, four. As you can see, stabilizations on them all <coughs> in various tires. Some are electronic, some are mechanical. We we'll walk down to the bottom of the yard. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put them on manual, put all the settings where they should be, or not necessarily where they should be, but in theory, and then we'll see what it's like like that. Plus we'll use external audio. And we'll go from there. Right, so let's change it all over to manual settings and external audio. Alright, now we've got the cameras that actually can use manual settings on manual settings and we've got external audio so we'll see how that goes. Um, one of the cameras I can put it on manual settings but we can't put uh, a variable ND filter on the front of it so I'm struggling so I've had to put that on program. So at the moment we have got three of the cameras on manual and they've got variable NDs on well NDs on and one that's still on full auto but we've got the external audio on. So yes we're doing quite well. We'll see how that goes. Let's say we've got camera one, camera two, camera three and camera four. And we'll see how they all go. So we'll just walk up here again. They've all got stabilisation on. The light here is very, very variable. So we've got light in front of us and light behind us. Then we'll go a bit sideways, get some light on the side of us, see what we've got. Like so. Then we'll come down here. Right, so that's us walking with all four cameras running, three in manual, one I've had to leave on program. 
and see how we go. There we go, do a full circle. And then back to our starting point. So that's those. Let's see what uh, what we get. Right, we've uh, seen the results on the computer and all four are quite capable of uh, vlogging. The GoPro is probably the worst out of all four of them. But what surprised me was how good the Sony HX90 was, being the cheapest of uh, all four. And it's got a flip-up screen, stabilisation is quite good, uh, yeah. I'm quite impressed with that. XS10, great image. Stabilisation, yeah, okay. But the uh, DJI Pocket 2, which is the uh, camera I've, I've purchased to do behind the scenes and that, uh, yeah, uh, that's excellent. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I've purchased that. I needed some light that I could hold out, not on a tripod and actually hold it in my hand and have no weight due to some issues uh, I've got at the moment. But, yeah, I'm glad I got that. So out of the four, which was your favourite? And as you can see, possibly not most expensive would be the uh, an option for you. So there were the four vlogging cameras, or four cameras that you could use for vlogging. They've all got some kind of stabilisation, which worked quite well in all of them. And the image quality was, yeah, good enough. Good enough for any bit of vlogging that you want to do. So that was my bit of fun, untechnical, unscientific look at four cameras for vlogging. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. And if you want to see more videos like that, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, see you later.